Heights, Jim Hutchinson with the New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine. You can tell by the planes flying overhead that uh, this must not be Jersey anymore. Actually, I'm up in Long Island today. Thursday, September 17th, we have a huge, huge surf show and expo. Fisherman Magazine holds that. The Huntington Hilton in Long Island every year at this time. So many folks come from New Jersey, come up for the day, uh, spend the night, go out. The Montauk bite has been tremendous. So it's uh, something a lot of folks do. So I sneaked out right before the, uh, the show tonight and uh, gonna hit one of my favorite South Shore West End locations. And it seems like if you're following that striper and bluefish migration, of course, you're gonna follow the migration that's coming from Long Island and New England. And I'll tell you what, things are starting to run right now. Let's go from north to south and share with you some of the information we've got because I know I'm the eternal optimist, but it sure seems like things are kicking off hot and heavy right away. Tony here weighed in a 24 pound bluefish that he jigged just south of the south shore of Long Island just this week. It was way just west of here at Bernie's in Sheepshead Bay. But a lot of those Jersey boats, of course, are mixing in with the Staten Island boats and the Brooklyn boats, and they're all jigging in the same location. And those bluefish are here. 24 pounds is a monster. We're still waiting to find out if that is a fisherman subscriber because that's going to skyrocket right to the top of the Dreamboat contest. Of course, Jared and his crew found some good jigging with the bluefish um, on the Little Hawk on a September 11th trip uh, just the other day. So the bluefish are there, they moved on, got away from the fluke for just a little while because he had good marks on the bluefish and found really good jigging success. Uh, that's something that's uh, a sure sign of optimism for the fall run to see those bluefish coming back down. Albies, the false albacore, they're not far from the shore either. Jen Jarmosco of Mountville, she had a six pounder to win the pool this week on the Miss Belmar Princess. I've talked to a couple of the surf guys who are fishing up around Sandy Hook. Those albies still are seen in the water. They're just a little bit out of casting range. Maybe as you've, you're watching this video though, the first false albacore of the season may have already been landed in the surf. We move farther to the south. We got some good uh, advice from Fisherman Supply. They say the river bass at night has been phenomenal. Bass up to 23 pounds in the last couple of weeks. The folks there at Fisherman Supply recommend the Stillwater Smackets and the Smacket Juniors because those stripers in the back bay up the Manasquan and around the bridges, the railroad trestle, they're on mullet. The mullet are thick and the bass are gone crazy in the back. A lot of smaller fish, but 23 pounds, that's nothing to sneeze at. Got a report from Murphy's Hookhouse in Tom's River this week. Said larger bluefish have shown in the surf. As of Tuesday, they're hitting mullet, uh, bunker chunks, metals, and there are a few short bass. They're taking poppers and swimmers as well. So if you're going out, you know, we've talked about this for the last couple of weeks. We're primed for the explosion of bait. Don't sit back and wait. Don't wait for those reports. We're getting the reports now. So if you're slow to the draw, you may just miss it. Uh, Margaret at Jingles surprised us this week. She said um, northwest winds blowing on uh, Wednesday, a 72 degree surf temperature, and she had her first good striper weighed in this week. Um, that was Terry Sertivan, 39 inches, 25 pounds. He caught that at the north end of LBI, which as those mullet and finger, uh, finger mullet and peanut bunkers start filtering out the inlets, it's a sure sign that things are starting to kick in. Weak fish are around this fall as well. I've heard a few different reports. Tom Reddy had an 18 incher that he caught on cut snapper and he weighed that in. Uh, it was caught in Brigantine Beach. He weighed it in at Riptide Bait and Tackle just across the inlet there over at the tea jetty. Uh, not just the weak fish, but croakers too. They're taking bloodworms. Um, you could stop in and see the folks at One Stop Bait and Tackle. They'll get you hooked up, but it's nice to see a good run of weak fish, hopefully materializing for the fall as well. Don't forget the New Jersey fluke season ends on September 26th. And with all this bait around, you're sure to find a good bite close to the beaches, inshore structure. But with all that bait around, those fluke are gonna be piling on the structure. There's a few in the back bay as well. Here's one, a 24 incher was caught this week and it was weighed in at two chums. That fish in the back bay behind Sea Isle. Frank here, on the other hand, he got out front, had a good week of fishing, had a good day actually, limited out on the fluke. 
uh, with fish from five to nine pounds and brought this one back in to Absecon Saltwater Sportsman, Absecon Bay Sportsman in Absecon. Delaware, of course, you lucky dogs, you get that fluking all season long and the Delaware bite has just been phenomenal all summer long. Bill Kiefer had a citation fish of eight pounds. He also had one of seven pounds, five ounces and a couple of other fours and fives. He caught those on the Thelma Dale Four. That's out of Lewis Harbor Marina. A message from the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection, their Division of Fish and Wildlife. They say the bonus program, of course, is launched for this season. If you got your bonus program permit before May 1st, of course, it was suspended. They're mailing out the new permits. Uh, some of those that got mailed out were returned from the post office. They are remailing this week. If you don't receive your bonus tag from earlier in the season, as of October 1st, they want you to call them at 609. 748 609-748-2074. The number's on the screen. Give them a shout, leave your information, and they'll sure, be sure to follow back up with you. The, the action is on. We're up at the Long Island Surf Show tonight. Sneaking back on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we'll be at the Lakewood Blue Claw Stadium. That's First Energy Field. Of course, the Marine Trades Association of New Jersey holding their annual Jersey Boat Sale and Expo. That's this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Come on out and see the fishermen. Check out some of the boats. And of course, if you've got the time, go get on the beach. Get on there now because the action is getting underway. Don't want you to miss it. I am the eternal optimist. I will tell you that but I'm gonna wet a line right now and I suggest you do the same. We'll see you next week at thefisherman.com. To receive the latest fishing reports, subscribe to the Fisherman's YouTube page. Click subscribe, then click the settings button and check send me updates. You'll now receive notifications of the latest Fisherman YouTube videos and reports. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you've checked send me updates in the settings so you receive the latest notifications.